All right, so today I want to go over the graphics screen of the control and talk a little bit about the settings and some of the things that we can do with graphics. The way we get there is we click on this little icon that looks like a solid model and an isometric view along the, the menu bar. And that should bring up the graphics screen. From there, we would have to hit the play button here on the, along the right side of the screen, and that'll go ahead and execute the program, whatever's going on. Above that, you'll see um, a plus and a minus. That will give us the ability to slow down or speed up the graphics all the way to what we call a max. So you've got from one to six, which are the speeds. Number one is the slowest, number six is the fastest. And then if you hit the max and you draw, it'll pretty much just sort of appear with the, the graphics done. So you can select whatever, whatever speed that you want. When we hit the little, in the very bottom right hand corner, we have this settings um, button. If we click on that, it's going to open a menu along the top of the screen. And there's a lot of things in here that we can do. Number one, we can select to do all of our drawing in toolpath or wireframe. We do that by the show graphics. There's a pull down menu there. We can do it in solids only, which is what we did when I hit the draw button the first time. Or we can do a show all, which is a combination of the two. You also notice whenever we're in toolpath or show all, there are lots of different lines and things with different colors on the screen. And we can turn those off by toggling different things here by those colors. So a lot of control that we have here. We also have an amb ambient light that we can change. So if I change this, you can see that the, the light that's shining on the graphic itself will change. So depending on the view that you're in, um, that may need to be done. And we have some settings over here for background color. If what you're looking at needs to have white or for whatever reason you want a little bit lighter um, view in the background. What kind of view do you want to be the default view? When I hit draw for the very first time, it's going to be in a default view of top or XY. If I want to change that, then I would do that here under the pull down menu and pick the one that I want to happen every time I hit the draw button the first time. While we're talking about that, let's talk about here on the right, the about halfway down on the right pane, we have our views. We have the top view, front view, right side, isometric, or a quad view, which would show all of those at the same time. And we can simply double click inside of one or hit the isometric or whatever to go back to where we want if we want a single view. Some of the other things that we can do in this pane is we have these settings here right above our uh, speed settings. We have part, which means when I hit draw, it's gonna complete the entire part. I can go to single, where it's only going to complete a single block at a time. It allows me to step through the program. Or I can click on tool, which will allow me to hit draw, and it will stop after every tool. Some of the other things we can do, uh, just down here below the, by the way, the uh, underneath the speed, we have the play, which while it's executing, there's a pause button. We can go between pause and play, and we can also hit abort, which will clear, or which will stop the graphic, and then hit clear to remove it from the screen if we wanted to. Here at the top, we have zoom, pan, and rotate. We also have this bar here under the arrows called reset all. If I hit that, it will then reset the graphic to whatever happens to be on the screen, whatever view I'm looking at. Also, while I'm in the isometric view, I can click on Rotate, which is up here in the very top right corner. And that allows me to rotate the part around. I can hit the opaque to turn it on and off so I have transparent. So there's a lot of settings here that are very useful when I'm trying to view the part or run through to make sure everything looks like it needs to for my part. One of the other things that is really helpful with our graphics is the ability to data block search. Each one of these features on the part was done with a specific block in the program, but
but looking at the program sometimes it's difficult to figure out which block did which feature on the part. So we can come to our graphics, we can click on the select down here right below the play button, till that highlights. Go over and click on a feature. You see that the jump button now is highlighted. If I hit jump, it'll then take me to the block in the program that created that particular feature. So I can use my graphics to navigate throughout the, the part program. And lastly, down at the bottom, we have capture, high res. These are right next to settings. Capture, if I click on that, it is going to tell me that there's an image stored, meaning in my program manager, which is the little file folder here, you can see next to the description panel, there is an image that will match whatever the graphic screen looked like when you hit capture. So I can put a, a little image with my programs. So I'd be able to, as I'm cursoring through, you notice as I go from program to program, it will show me the different views if there's one there or the different images. High res, uh, sometimes when I do a drawing and there's a lot of detail, some of the arcs and things may look faceted. You may have some colors that blend together because things are too close together. If I hit that high res, then it will regenerate the, the completed um, graphic and it will be a little bit more of a high res image for you. And the last thing I wanna talk about, whenever I'm in a two dimensional view, we are able to measure on the screen. So while I have this image up, right below the reset all, right here in the middle, next to opaque, I can hit measure, click and drag on the screen. And you see that I have a free form, I can do at an angle or whatever. Um, I will draw a little yellow line when I release the button then it tells me at the top of the screen what the length of that particular line is. We don't necessarily snap to anything, but it is a very useful tool. If I wanted to go corner to corner here, it'll tell me that's almost five inches, so I can use that for getting some really good reference information for whatever I may need that for. So hopefully that helps uh, clear up some of the things about the graphics screen and that you can use those as we're going through the training program to, um, to look at the programs and the things that we're writing.